Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll take a quick look at the GG Corp plot package and see how to visualize a correlation matrix. Let's get to our studio. We'll begin with loading the required package. If not already, install the GG Corp plot package before loading. For demonstration sake, we'll use the empty cars dataset that ships along with base R. Quick look at the structure of the empty cars dataset. We have got 32 observations across 11 variables. Let's see the help page of empty cars dataset. The data was extracted from 1974 Motor Trend US magazine and comprises fuel consumption and 10 aspects of automobile design and performance for 32 automobiles, 1973 to 74 models. And here we can see the 11 columns, column variables, miles per gallon, cylinder, displacement, horsepower, axle ratio, weight, one fourth of mile time, engine V shaped or straight, transmission automatic or manual, number of forward gears, and number of carburetors. Objective is to create and visualize the correlation pattern across these column variables using GG Corp plot package. As a step one, let's calculate the correlation matrix. We'll use the core function core function on empty cars dataset and we get a matrix of correlation coefficients across variables with values ranging from minus 1 to 1. Diagonal from top left to bottom right represents correlation of variable to itself and you can see the correlation coefficient value is 1. We do not need so many decimal places and let's round this off to one decimal place and also assign this to an object and rerun. This looks better. As a next step, apply ggcorplot function from the ggcorplot package on the correlation matrix we just created. Okay, here we have a nice looking heat map in the form of square tiles. White color represents zero correlation while red represents a positive correlation and blue represents a negative correlation among the variables. Notice here the correlation of variable to itself can be seen on this diagonal from bottom left to right. This high intensity blue is indicative of MPG being highly negatively correlated to weight, for an example. By default, ggcore plot is displayed with square tiles, but we do have an option to choose circle as well. Let's try that out. We'll copy the previous code and say method equals circle, rerun it. We now have circles instead of square tiles. Size of the circle indicates the strength of correlation. Next, let us apply hierarchical cluster ordering to the correlation matrix. This will group positive and negative correlated variables for easy pattern identification. You can try this on square tiles as well. Notice we have symmetry along the diagonal and it's time for us to try out layout options to choose from. One of the layout option is lower and the other one is upper we say type equals lower 
as we can see the call plot is updated and one of the symmetric portion is removed basis the layout we selected let's try some formatting we'll add a title to the plot we'll say title equals Corellogram empty cars data set let's add legend title to it i'll copy the previous code and choose the argument legend dot title and say pearson correlation okay now let's add correlation coefficients on the plot this can be done using the lab argument and we say lab equals true let's rerun it we also have arguments available to play around with the label size and color and so let's pick a color for the correlation coefficients and also reduce the size of the font we'll say lab underscore color equals white you can play around you can have black as well lab underscore size as two let's rerun it okay uh, one of the advantage of using ggcorp plot is you can use uh, ggplot themes uh, to it so let's try that we'll copy the previous code and we'll use the gg theme argument and i've got few of the themes let's try a couple of them gg theme underscore void let's try another one gg theme equals dark and you can play rest of the themes we can add outline color to the tiles as well there is an argument called outline dot color and let me give the value as black okay let's change the color scheme there is argument called colors and we can say uh, colors equals we can define the color which color we want for the positive correlation correlation coefficients zero correl correlated variables and negatively correlated variables okay now before we wrap up let's also calculate the p values and uh, try marking or dropping insignificant correlation coefficients and for that first we need to calculate the p values of the correlation for significance level we'll say p dot mat this is our uh, p value object and the function which we are going to use is car underscore p mat on empty cars and if we run this it will produce a matrix with p values as a next step let's use this p value matrix inside the gg corp plot we'll use the argument p dot mat and say this equals to the p value object we created p 
p dot mat now if the p value in the p mat is bigger than the significance level then the corresponding correlation coefficient is regarded as insignificant and here the default significance level is 0 0.05 which can also be changed but for now we will just go with the default value and you can see these cross marks showing insignificant correlation coefficients we do have an option where you can drop these uh, uh, cross marks and if we choose the argument as insignificant equals blank these cross marks will no longer be there i hope this video tutorial was helpful link to my github code is in the description section thanks for watching